Hi guys, I'm Shin and I used to be a mouth breather. Here at The Great Kind, we like to exercise our minds on our pursuit to greatness. And learning how to optimize my health is part of that journey. In general, 90% of us are breathing incorrectly. So chances are you and me are part of that statistic. Most of us breathe through our mouths and that results in the same behavior when we sleep, which can lead to snoring, disturbed sleep, sleep apnea, or even waking up in the middle of the night to use the washroom. Now, if that doesn't convince you, then listen up. Mouth breathing can also cause cavities and bad breath. I hate about that life. Think of our nose as the silent warrior. It is perfectly connected to distribute oxygen effectively and efficiently to our tissues and organs. So knowing this information, I wanted to maximize nose breathing by tackling the biggest chunk of my day, sleep. By taping my mouth, I was encouraging my nose to autonomically breathe throughout the night. So today I'm going to share with you my experience, taping strategies, and my sleep results. I used to wake up every night to use the washroom. Nocturia or nighttime urination occurs when you breathe through your mouth and you most likely snore during sleep. This gasping for air stretches the heart muscle and produces a natural hormone, which increases urination. From ritualistically visiting the washroom once to twice every night, my rate has reduced significantly. I went from using the washroom in the middle of the night 42 times in 30 days to only three times in 30 days. It's quite unbelievable knowing that a simple solution like mouth tape has helped me sleep throughout the night. It's also helped other aspects of my sleep. Here are my results. Over the course of 30 days, I tracked the number of times I was awake per night, the number of times I was restless per night, and the average minutes I was awake and restless for. During the 30 days without tape, I was awake for 3 times per night, restless for about 15 times per night, totaling an average of 34 minutes per night. During the 30 days with tape, my stats were completely different. We saw improvements across the board, with times awake down by 66%, times restless down by 39%, and on average awake and restless minutes per night down by 38%. Incredible. So now I've got a Fitbit Inspire HR, which also monitors heart rate, which means I can get a sleep score and it just gives me a much better sleep analysis. So I'm going to try different strategies to get my sleep score up to 90. So be sure to hit that notification bell to get notified. Over the course of four weeks and counting, I got to experiment with different types of tapes. And here's what I learned. First up, we have regular clear tape. I rate this one a 2 out of 5 because while it sticks well, it leaves glue residue behind. Next up, we have duct tape. There's something scary about duct tape, not gonna lie. It does last throughout the night, but it's quite harsh on the skin and was a definite no for me. 1 out of 5. Then we tried the electrical tape. Surprisingly, does the job well, stays throughout the night, but does leave the lips dry with some residue behind? Three out of five. Then we tried masking tape. This one works really well. Overall, a four out of five. Lastly, we have my personal favorite, taking home a 4.5 out of five, medical tape. Strong holds with minimal residue and doesn't leave the lips dried out. A five out of five tape for me would be something that is environmentally friendly, keeps the lips hydrated and stays throughout the night. Innovation opportunity, y'all. There are also many ways that you can apply the tape. Here are my three go-tos. The magic carpet. For when I want to 100% guarantee that my mouth will stay shut. The vertical chaplain. This leaves room for breathing flexibility in case my nose is blocked. The elevator doors. This one is great for breathing or talking flexibility before sleep. The one negative of the vertical chaplain is that I have woken up with tape in random places. The one negative of the elevator doors and the magic carpet is that you end up using a lot of tape over time. 
If you feel a sneeze coming on, you gotta take your tape off because it's brutal if you sneeze. I have got to give this book and James Nestor a huge shout out because after watching his podcast episode on the Joe Rogan experience, I read the book and it's changing my goddamn life. So expect to see a lot more breathing content as I explore and experiment. And if you're looking to see really cool workshops and breathing techniques, you check out my channel. Uh, that's it, guys. Happy sleeping and thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.